Now, today we're going to be talking about finances. I'm going to make this really, really fast when I say this. But here's the bottom line. There are banks that have money because it's other people's. And there are banks that loan money because it's other people's. The way that it works is this. Banks pay back people who put their money into their bank by a little bit. There's a small, small amount of money, a small percentage of that money that you have in a bank that banks will give you money saying like, hey, thanks for letting us hold on to your money. We're going to put a little money, add a little bit to that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now here's what happens. When people get, take loans from a bank, what they do is they are actually borrowing a combination of other people's money that are storing it there. And they are charged by the bank interest. The bank's like, hey, you're borrowing this money, so I'm going to charge you more than it's worth. That's why I don't have a credit card. That's why, I mean, I, when I want to buy something, I want to save for it and pay actually what the price is. There's some credit cards that have like ridiculous percentages, like 20% of what you're buying is um, addition, additional 20% is what you pay. Okay? So banks pay you for you putting your money there, and then banks charge people from borrowing for borrowing money. Obviously, which do you think is higher? What they charge or what they give? What they charge, what they charge yeah, cause, exactly, because banks are a business, and business, every decision they make is to make more money, duh. Okay? Um, so that's the background about interest. Okay, question, sir? That's, mm -hmm, that's how they make money. And then when people go faulting on their loans, that's when they get, like if, if you miss a payment, a lot of times banks would be like, okay, your interest rate for that loan, it was just 3.5%. Oh, you missed a payment, boom, 7% interest now. Yep, that's what happens. That's what happens with credit card companies and stuff like that. Interest is the money that they're charging you for using their money when you don't have it. Okay. Yes. FICO score is a person's individual um, worthiness of getting a loan from a bank. If I don't know exactly what the numbers are, but if you have a bad FICO score, banks are going to be like, uh -uh, I'm not loaning you this money. You're not going to pay it back. Similar thing. That's part of it. Yep, that's part of it. Thank you. Uh, the principal. Now, the principal is not Dr. Stewart in this situation, okay? The principal is the amount of money in a loan or savings account, okay? The amount of money in a loan or savings account, it is not counting the, uh, it is not counting the interest, okay? It is not counting the interest. The interest is money paid regularly at a particular rate. Blew, that's kind of one way to put it, but the bottom line is it's just something that's in addition to a loan, whether you're paying it or receiving it. The percent proportion is for this section, we'll go blue, interest over principal. And if you ever want to remember how to say principal, it's the principal, like Dr. Stewart's your pal. That's why it's P-A-L-E. Or P-A-L rather than P-L-E, which is like the principal concept. Yeah. Or on principal. Um, so like when somebody takes a loan and the people that have to pay it, like when they give the money, do they get more money out of that? Um, do they get more money if they get as if um, I was going to bank Caleb, like so I give Caleb my money, and Caleb, you, you go to Caleb for a loan, so Caleb loans you money, does that mean that I get more? Yeah. No, it doesn't associate whose money it is, it's just the money that's there. Because if I, if I go and I put $10 into a bank, you go, you put $10 in a bank, they don't keep track of whose $10 bill that is. Yes? Yes. All right, this is a life skill, so I'm going to take a time out here. Okay. 
Ed Bank of Edwardsville. So here's the here's the the Bank of Edwardsville. Now, um, trusted brokers, loan services, personal. It's the same thing. Yeah. Bad example. Now this is their consumer loans website. Um, they're not giving any rates right now, but you'll see you'll see stuff for loans payments like uh, like cash adv cash advance loans are the worst throw away of money ever because there's a huge, huge interest. Like if you're borrowing 20 bucks to pay the rest of your cell phone bill, you'll be paying back like seven bucks or like 10 bucks back to them, especially if you miss a payment. But that's, uh, that's the main idea behind that. It's just that there's, there's money that t is to be made by banks if you loan out money. Yes. Yeah, those that's just a credit card. Capital One card. Yep. Um their interest rates and whatnot. The keywords from this information, quiet. The keywords from this information. We have interest, which is the part. And we have the of, which is the principal, principal, which is the whole. And this all derives from the thing that you guys have memorized at this moment. And at this time, you have memorized this. It is, is, of, but we just did that on the left side. And I, once again, as I'm walking through your guys' desks, I'm seeing the lack of an equal sign. Guys, stop ignoring this. I'm running out of things to explain to your parents when they're asking me what's going on with your grades. Well, actually, I'm not running out of things to say because there's new things coming up because I have to see the same things, and then it's more and more and more. It's an equation, a proportion that is equal to something else. You can't have something equal to something else in a proportion if you don't have that equal sign. If not, it's just two pair, uh, two fractions chilling next to each other. Yeah. Uh, make a goal. You got to make your own wishes happen. That's what I always say. What number or percent? That's the interest rate. That's the interest rate. So solve each problem using a percent proportion. So this is just setting it up again, okay? We've done this for two weeks now. We have a percent, so that's automatically going to be put in the upper right. Now I have to figure out what is part, what is whole. I don't see the word is here, so I don't know if it's going to be part, but I do see of 65, so I know that that's here. And that's the setup. I have... I have to cr uh, do cross products. I mean, we've done this so much; it's it's getting tedious. Is this just for review no, this is this is new stuff. Uh, See, I wish that's how you guys would have reacted when we did this for the first time on Monday. When you're like, we did this in seventh grade or sixth grade. This is not review; it's just looking at it in a different way. So then you would divide both sides by 100. Okay, after you multiply 36 is there's 65 and 36, and you're going to get that it's x equals 23.4. <coughs> Excuse me. And here's what you would do. This is the point where yesterday's lesson is going to come into effect. 
It's not because that's on the test, because it isn't. However, it will come in to see, does it make sense? Is it a good estimate if 23.4 out of 65 is 36 percent? 23 point. That's, that's the right answer. I expect you guys know how to multiply by uh, decimals by now, or d divide, divide by 100 in whole numbers. So that's, that's how that would be. Okay. Next one. We got little John talking about a percent. What? Percent. So we know that it's going to be the X here over 100 of 125. 15 is. And I'm not going to work these out. I have it actually worked out. I'll, I'll have it worked out on the uh, on the video. Am I recording? Yeah. It's over here worked out, but I'll have it saved on my website, but we're not going to go from there. That's what I expect you to have written right now. I expect you to know how to solve that equation. We've done it so many times that we need to move along to get to the stuff that's newer. Yeah. What a draw? John. Oh, he's he's a, a rapper that I guess was less, yeah, it's more relevant. <laughs> yeah. Solve each problem using the percent equation. Now this one is saying 15 is what percent of 100? Once again, is of Did you get your homework, by the way? Okay, good. As in the, the extra credit stuff that I gave you guys. Okay. Now this one, I just heard someone say what I'm about to say. This one is almost an insult to your intelligence. And if you don't see it yet, okay? We, and we have common denominators. And if we have common denominators and we are finding a, between an equal sign, what's the only thing that 15 can be? I mean, what's the only thing that X can be? Okay, I'm not even going to work that one out because I wouldn't expect you to have to work it out on the paper. So 15% of what number is 39? Is... Setting those up is going to be a huge part of the quiet... Then we would cross multiply and it would be 15x times 3900 equals, and we'd get the answer solution. Okay? That's just setting it up. That's the new part or the newish part about this chapter. Now let's put it into financial stuff. We're talking about a discount here. We're talking about a discount, which means this is how much money would be taken off the full price. The full price. So we have a 1988 sweet, super sweet neon uh, uh, sweatsuit, and the whole is going to be 49.95. Our percentage is always going to go in the top right. Forty-nine ninety-five. But if you act now. So I have 100x equals 49.95 multiplied by 28. And I'd use a scratch piece of paper and I would do that. 49.95 times 28.
Yeah, I'll take that back. Yeah. Thank you. Wow, you really chucked it. My goodness. So I have 100x equals 1398.6. Then I have to move or divide by 100, divide by 100. I have x equals, since it's money, $13.99. We're supposed to be done. Now it said that, I just heard somebody say that's cheap. So we had something that was $14.95 and now it's $13.99, right? No. no, because this is the discount. This is the discount. So this is the money that if I was saying, how much did Mr. Smith pay for that thing on TV that's going to break after the third time using it, right? Oh, he paid $14.99 or. Uh, Forty-nine ninety-five, but there was a discount of thirteen ninety-nine, and you would subtract that from the whole. All right, this one is the same deal. I'm just going to set this one up. You do not have to finish this for Friday's note turn-in. Oops. That's just setting that up. Of course, this, the percentage goes in the upper right because we're looking for what the discount is. That's always going to be part of it. <clears throat> um, and you have... X up there. Now I will tell you, yeah, I don't want to tell you that, never mind. There's a way to do it without subtraction at the end. You do it at the beginning, but yes? So, wait. You, I. Because that is the principle, or the the uh, the <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, the full price of what you're uh, buying. All right, consider this. Um, just had students say that it's kind of confusing to know what is a part, what is a whole. Twelve fifty would be part of what? 1,250 would be part of what? Okay, you just said the whole, but what if? Okay, so what is the whole then? Are they asking us? What are they asking us in this one? 50% off what? Yeah, $1,250 refrigerator. So if this would be part of something, that that would mean that the whole would have to be bigger. So if you're getting 50% off of this fridge, why would there be some magical thing that's just like, hi, I'm worth more money? I don't know what that was. <laughs> so it would be set up like this, because you're finding out the discount, OK? The discounts are actually always going to be like this. It's going to be upper left. Okay. The discounts are going to be always in the upper left. Now we have this situation. <coughs> Excuse me. All new. First off, we see a percentage right there. So right off the bat, I put 0.3. There won't be. Yeah, there would be compounded interest at a different rate, but we're not going to get that advanced. Uh, yeah, you probably have it maybe next year. So here's what it is. We're finding out how much interest we are getting, we will earn. So our principal is $500 in this situation. Our interest rate is 0.3%. We want to know how much interest are we going to earn up for a month. So we do the cross products. So we have 0 0.3 times 500 times, or equals 100x. This comes out to be 3 times 5, which is 15. Take the 1.5 plus two zeros, 150. You mean, or 100x equals, yeah, it's the equal sign means 
Yeah, you can have it flip on either side. Divided by 100. Divided by 100. X. So this one would be 100 divided by that, 1.5. So X is 1.5, and we're dealing with money here. So we're looking at $1.50 a month in that, in that month. And if we wanted to know when it compounded, um, it would be monthly on your homework. It says compounded annually. So I'm going to be lenient with that, and I'm not going to give you more information than I gave to fourth and fifth periods. So, but it'd be a dollar fifty a month. And because there's 15 of them, this is a little bit less accurate because it's going to crawl up a little bit more and more and more. But uh, that'd be whoops. Hello. Multiply that by 15 to get exactly, or to approximately how much you'd have. All right, next one. What time is it? Ugh, darn it. All right, this one gets set up. We have 8.5%. That always goes in the upper right. We have $250 at our principal, and we want to know how much we're going to earn. That's how it gets set up. Set up the. Yeah. Well, you would be, what we would do is at the very end of it, for these two years, for these two years, we'd multiply when we're done by two. Okay? But that wouldn't be so accurate because, in fact, you would have to add what you earned interest on the first year to the second one if you didn't touch it. So that's why I'm going to be lenient on it because we don't have time to go through it all. This one, once again, here's our principal. Principal goes in the lower left. Here's our rate. Of course, the, the percentages go in the upper right. We have 100 over all the time. There it is. That's how we set it up. And at the very end, we would multiply it by 7 to get an approximate amount for the end of that. Yes, sir? Can you go back up to number 1, please? Um, number 5 was $13.99. Mm, excuse me. Okay, doctors divide, yes, good. Okay, doctors divide blood into eight different types. Of the, prox, of the approximately 249 million, look at this, of the, of the 249 million Americans, 37.4% have a type O positive how many Americans have a type O positive? Garrett, what do you think? Yes. 249 million is right here. Good. And I'm going to have that be a million. Oh. Beautiful. An X there. And then our answer is going to be in millions. Okay, Our answer is going to be in millions. We have to cross product. We have to divide by 100, and then that would be our answer. Okay, So as you guys are leaving, I'm going to finish these notes so they will be completed online if you'd like to see them. Yes? Oop, thank you. Good. And we would find out how many Americans have Americans. How many Americans have O positive? Next one, Jackie receives a 10% discount on all merchandise at the store where she works. At the store where she works. She is buying a $439 television that is on sale for 33% off. Now, keep in mind that there are two percentages here. Didn't somebody say, are there going to be two percentages? Yeah. What's the situation? What do we do here, Mr. Sparrow? Yes, we combine them because she gets a 10% a, a off, but there's already some at 33% off. So what discount is she actually getting? 43% off. Yeah, it's huge. That's why I just called on you. 
No, those items are made for Black Friday. That's why they're cheap. Okay, unless you're buying bows or beats, you get what you pay for when you do electronics, okay? Okay, unless, unless you're paying for a huge name like Bose or Dr. Dre. Me? Apple. So that's the setup, that one. That's the setup, that one, yes. Uh, headphones, music system. Last one, be quiet. Last one that we don't have to, here. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to stop the video. I'll have the rest of the notes filled out with everything done. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Beautiful. That's right. Thank you. It's my Tacky Tie Tuesday tie.